a nice change today in our weather. It was almost like two different days because the, the beginning day. of the day, right. very cool. Late in the day, Eric, we saw the sun. Yeah, a little bit of that cloud cover melting away. Finally, a glimpse of the sun, which is kind of a look at coming attractions for tomorrow. It didn't really warm up because the sun came too late in the day. Just a little bit warmer than record territory today for most of southern New England. Providence tied a record, coldest high temperature for the day. We'll be close to record low temps overnight tonight. 61 degrees in Boston. Not too much wind and dry air. Dew points in the low 50s. Kind of a feel of autumn. It is comfortable. I don't know about you, but my windows have been wide open this week. It's been nice to have the air conditioners off and great sleep and weather. We'll only drop off a couple more degrees for the rest of the night. You can see that cooler air has really carved out a spot across the northeast. We've had that onshore flow. The summer air is off to our west, and it's going to start to move back in during the day tomorrow. All is quiet finally across the northeast. So a sunny, gorgeous day after a chilly start. So if you're up around sunrise, we'll actually have some upper 40s in parts of the area. Most of us in the low to mid 50s, then a rapid warming from 55 in the morning to low 70s at lunchtime. It'll be beautiful outside, not much wind, blue skies. And although it's not a hot day, it might feel a little bit hot out there after a couple of really cool ones. A little southeast breeze kicks in late in the day and our sunset at 810. But tomorrow is definitely the pick of the week to be outside. Generally staying in the 70s near the shore, we should touch 80 degrees for most inland towns tomorrow afternoon. Again, the humidity will be very, very low outside, almost like an early September kind of day. So at the beach, not hot, but 75 and sunny. Southeast at 4 to 10. Nice to be able to get back out on the shore. If you've been on vacation this week, I'm sure it's been rough with little kids in the house trying to get outside on a couple of really cool and damp days. Then we head toward Thursday. We'll see cloud cover move its way into the region tomorrow night. And then partly sunny skies on Thursday. There's going to be a weak system that crosses the area. And that could bring a couple of showers or a quick downpour on Thursday afternoon. The highest odds of that happening would be from Boston north and west. So a little bit of an unsettled day. We'll be close to 80 degrees again. What we're watching toward the end of the week is a storm system that will be forming off to our south. Now, this one's going to gear up around the mid-Atlantic. Should be close enough on Friday to still keep some cloud cover in play and maybe some late-day showers around the Cape, the islands, and the south coast. That front will be very close by. will be driest to the north. Then we head into Friday night and Saturday. Same idea. As this slides off to our south and east, northeast winds will keep us cool on Saturday. Best chance of rain will be in southeastern Massachusetts. If your plans take you toward northern New England, should have bright skies and much quieter weather. There's still a chance that this could wiggle a little bit, 50 to 100 miles each way. So we'll be updating that later this week. And then on Sunday, we're back into the sunshine as high pressure builds in. All the while, not much humidity, not much summer heat in this stretch. Our muggiest day will be Thursday as dew points get in the low 60s. So here's your seven-day outlook. Tomorrow, definitely the pick. Thursday, partly sunny, a couple of showers in the afternoon. Friday, I think a mainly dry day with a chance of some rain showers along the south coast. And then we'll have to watch and see how close that storm comes Friday night and Saturday. A little farther north, David and Lisa, it's a wet start to the weekend. A little farther south, we're free and clear. So we'll be watching it. Okay, hoping for south. Yeah, we vote south. Yeah, me Thank too. Thank you, Eric.